Now this is an interesting question. What would happen if you were inside of a car, hurtling through space, going very close to the speed of light, and you all of a sudden turned your headlights on? What exactly would you see? Well, it might be tempting to think that the light would spread out more slowly in front of you because you're now moving close to the speed of light. But unfortunately, this assumption would be incorrect. Because in physics, we learn about something called special relativity, which teaches us the speed of light is the same constant in every reference frame. So someone who's watching the car from Earth would witness the same speed of light from the headlights as someone who's sitting inside the car. And the way this is even possible without causing a paradox is something known as time dilation. Because you're moving close to the speed of light, you would not experience the same time as someone who's standing still on Earth's surface. So in this hypothetical situation, time would change for you, but the speed of light would remain the same. What is the speed of dark? I mean, we know darkness has to be faster than light since darkness was there before light, right? Well, not exactly, because see, darkness is defined as the absence of light. So darkness itself doesn't actually exist. But if darkness did have a speed, it would simply match the speed of light, since darkness would travel as fast as the last light wave. But keep in mind, in this situation, the darkness is not actually moving. It's just the last of the photons before the light source was terminated. So saying that darkness is faster than light is like saying the road we drive on is faster than our car since the road has beat us to our destination. It just doesn't work that way. There's something really fishy about quantum mechanics when we're given a light wave and asked to find momentum. Because we can use this basic formula with Planck's constant to solve for the momentum. However, this value seems odd considering the fact that light has no mass. Therefore, it can't possibly have momentum, right? So what is the contradiction here? Well, the truth is, you're being lied to. This momentum equation only works for classical situations in the real world. When we have quantum particles close to light speed, there's a different set of equations we need to use. But thankfully, the math is not too bad when it comes to light. Since we know light has no mass, we can just use some algebra to solve for the momentum. And we can also use the equation for the energy of a photon, and this will give us the formula we saw at the start. So it's not a paradox, light does have momentum. Let me know if you were able to solve this quantum physics problem. Here we are asked to calculate the momentum of this photon. Now it turns out there's a simple equation that allows us to solve this problem. The energy of the photon is already given to us. The speed of light is a constant you can look up, and to calculate the momentum, we just need to use a little bit of algebra. So we should end up with this fraction, and if you type this into a calculator, you'll get the approximate momentum and the solution to the problem. 